Sheriff's. Hi guys, welcome back to the Session Talk Show. We are joined with our guest here today, Milana Dodge. Mm -hmm. And she is the GM of the Houston Historic Herman Park Golf, uh, Park Golf and set for the annual Golf Classic. Welcome yes. to the show. Thank you for welcome. having me. Welcome, <laughs> welcome. That was a mouthful. <laughs> But it was good. Yeah, y'all forgive me. You know, I, I'm a new reader. Okay. <laughs> so give us a little bit about your backstory. Um, so I've been playing golf for about, let me add up, 32 years now. Oh, wow. 30. How old are you? 43. Oh, girl, you look so good. You, you, came, you came out playing golf. No. Right. <laughs> when is your birthday? But in July. So July? I just turned 33. What sign 43. is that? Cancer. Cancer. Okay. Can oh. Happy belated birthday. July Thank what? You. 13. Hmm. Oh, girl, you just had a birthday. Yes. Yeah, what did you do for your birthday? Oh, I've been celebrating all month. Oh, really? Why all not? month. So what are we doing oh, this weekend? Yeah, so we're going to wrap it up this weekend. I'm outside now. Wrapping it up this weekend. Are we invited? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Oh, Y'all yeah. heard that, right? I know. We need to be on the VIP week. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, but no, just been involved in golf. My dad taught my brothers on how to play and... Um, Played in high school, played in college, um, tried to play professionally for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, when that didn't work out as well, I knew I wanted to stay in golf. Mm -hmm. And so then that's when I turned to the industry. Okay, what can I do okay. and still work in gotcha. golf? Um, and so from that point on, I've just been working. Got a job at a golf course and kind of worked my way up and still feel like I'm trying to work my way up. Oh, wow. um, but golf has been my life. Like, I, won't, I don't know what I'd be doing if I wasn't in golf. Yeah. Okay. Um, Why didn't it work out professionally with golf? It's tough. Really? It's tough. How so? Yeah. So just trying to compete. Mm -hmm. um, you're playing four rounds of golf mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. one setting, you mm -hmm. know, so it's not one day. Competition mm -hmm. is four days. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so uh, the expense of it, you mm -hmm. know, trying to cover getting to these locations because it's not all in your city. You're traveling. Okay. And so food, hotel, lodging, you know, oh, wow. paying for full the tournament. Time yeah, expense. it's full time expense. Yeah. So, so when did you realize you were good enough to at least play in that professional level? So it was actually my dad pushing me. Oh, really? So believe it or not, I hated golf when I started. I did not like it. Really? No, not at all. Oh, wow. But my dad was like, you're going to play, you're going to play. And so finally got to high school, and I won a high school tournament. And so mm -hmm. that's when I was like, oh, I can, I can do, do this. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And so played through high school. I played well enough to earn a scholarship to college. What and high school was that? I'm from Irving, Texas. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you're in, like Dallas. Offer, in Dallas. Dallas. Yeah. They offer golf through the high school. Yeah. That's okay. So even here, yeah, there's a lot yeah. of schools that do golf. Some oh, middle school cool. as well. Okay. And so once I got to college and I started playing well, and my dad was like, you know, you can try for the tour, try for the tour. So then my focus became that. Okay. And so that's what us to work for. You know, you're practicing every day after class, weekends, you know, trying to make it to this level. And once I graduated college, um, I did. I made it to semester tour. And I played there for a few seasons, but it just didn't go as planned. That's the tough part, you know, the traveling. And my parents didn't have the funds, you know, so we're using credit cards. Oh, we're staying in people's goodness. homes, you know, um, just it's a grind. Yeah. And the players you see on TV, they, they are, spend the money. they are grinding. They yeah. grind. They are grinding. They sacrifice a few things. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They are. It's a huge sacrifice. And my parents did too. And once I started realizing how much they are sacrificing for me, I was you like, You got okay. real serious. Yeah. And I was like, okay. This is not going how, you know, we thought it was planned. So I need to turn. I need to do something different. And, and so, then, of course, we know golfing is predominantly. A white sport. Of course. Yeah. I did, yeah. You said it. I did. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Yeah. as a mm -hmm. black female, African-American female, mm -hmm. what's some of the challenges that you face? Um, the support, you okay. know, um, in, you know, you have internal and external, you know, threats or, you know, worries. And so the intern part is there too. Mm -hmm. um, just believing yourself, that confidence, yeah. I can do this. Being able to play and compete, and you go to a tournament, you're only black person there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have a lot of friends that play golf. Yeah. You know, so there's a lot that goes into that. Okay, um, emotionally, um, mentally. Yeah, mentally. That's almost everything in America, though, right? Yeah, but it's different with basketball, football, track. Yeah. You know, yeah. you have. But golf is a little but different. I'm just saying, even yeah. corporate America, yeah. like you know, or acting, or. Yeah. 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 And yeah. once I kind of got past that, okay, I belong, you okay. know, I can do this, I can play, you know, believe in yourself, then you got to try to convince people to believe in you, Yeah. yeah. you know, and then you have to perform to get them to give you those funds. Wow. And so it's just, it's a, oh. it's a battle. Sounds yeah. like a lot of stress. So it what is. inspires you to keep going when you face so much challenges? Um, part of it is I don't want to fail. Okay. You know, so I'm going to keep pushing. And then at, a, at some point, you know, you realize, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And so now I need to get everything out of it I can mm -hmm. yeah. and then kind of give back to bring in more people. 
And so when going towards the into the golf industry, once I got my PGA membership, there was only one other black lady that had membership. Mm. So I immediately called her, you okay. know, and I bugged her. I called her, you know, she, we're, we're good now. She's like, she's one of my mentors, uh-huh. but she can tell you in the beginning, I was chasing after her because okay. I was like, okay, you're the only other one. Yeah, you know? I need so, you. Yeah. Um, but she keeps up with me. She calls me, you know, what are you doing? What's going on? You know, what's the next, next step? What's the plan? Um, and so it's good to have people like that. Yeah. And so, um, once I realize I'm in this industry, I got to make the most, the best out of it. I got to try to do everything I can try to make a difference, be involved, be seen. Don't just, you know, say I'm here and then nobody knows. And then fall in the background. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You recently spoke at the Chevron open in the woodlands yes. um, to support HBU students. How was that experience? It was good because yeah. I was once in their shoes. Yeah. So yeah. just being able to come back and speak on a panel about careers in golf mm-hmm. and my career and what I'm doing. Um, it was full circle, you know, mm-hmm. so I played at HBCU and they didn't have any of that when I was playing. Right. <laughs> but the fact now that the girls get to see this and they get to be a part of it. And I mean, they were there for the whole week for, with them, you know, yeah. so that was huge. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Well, guys, we will leave it right here for now. And we'll be right back with our special guest, Alana Dodge. Stay tuned. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.